Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rosalind. On this channel, I feature lifestyle, inspiration, and a lot of self-care. In today's video, I'm going to give you my top three tips on being productive in the evenings. Let's get started. All right, so I wanted to share these tips with you because a couple of years ago, I kind of found myself losing a lot of time. So when I talk about evening routines, I'm not talking about your nighttime routine right before you go to bed. I'm talking about the time between around four or five o'clock when you get off work until about eight or nine when you're getting ready for your night routine. Those hours are usually lost because we kind of get off work and we just kind of do what we think comes naturally we don't really plan that time out but my number one tip for you to make sure that you maximize the hours after you get off work or after you stop working for the day is to create a schedule so most people typically get off around four or five o'clock or even if you work from home or you are a homemaker usually once the kids get home from school or once the husband gets home from work you'll start around four maybe five o'clock and you will start what we call an evening routine the way to keep that productive again is to set a schedule to make sure that every hour and every minute is accounted for. Now I know a lot of times when I would get off work, I would stop and get gas. I would stop by the store and make a Target run. Wouldn't be something normally that I would do, but then I may stay in Target 30, 45 minutes. And then I would maybe come home, look around, figure out what I wanted to eat. And then usually my evening is just gone. So if you create a schedule and I suggest doing this, you can do it each day or you can do it um, for the week. But just set aside time in the evening. So anywhere from four to eight or five to nine, segment that time to make sure that you're working on things that you need to work on. And that is going to be the key to making sure that you are very productive during that time. The second thing is to plan out one thing that I think is a very sometimes monstrous task for me is dinner. You can actually prep prior to, let's just say you're cooking spaghetti, maybe you make the meatballs over the weekend or the day before and you put them in the freezer, um, or just plan out all the meals that you're gonna have for the week so you're not scrounging or trying to figure out what you're gonna cook or you wanna cook something, you realize you don't have it. Again, you have to do a store run. Once you do that, you've lost 45 minutes. You come back, you cook, it's late. You gotta get the kids ready for bed or what have you. And then you've just lost a lot of time in there. So planning out your meals is essential during that time. And even if you're gonna have a snack, planning out that as well. The third tip that I have for you is create a moment or a space and time for growth. Now that growth can be mental, it can be spiritual, it can be physical, it can be whatever type of growth that you want to have. For example, if you want a stronger relationship with God from a spiritual standpoint, maybe you take some time and read your Bible, maybe you take some time and meditate on God's word, maybe you take some time, you watch your favorite minister online or you listen to a podcast. If you want to get ahead with work or if you want to learn something, let's just say you want to learn about trading, maybe you will watch some YouTube videos, maybe you would buy a course and, and work on your course, kind of like you would do if you were in a traditional school situation, but you would be at home or you can pick up a book or a magazine or anything that you feel like will give you that edge to help you learn and grow during that period. And from a physical standpoint, you can definitely work out if you're not a part of that 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. crew where you get an opportunity to work out before your day gets started. Some people like working out in the morning, sometimes they don't. Maybe that's something that you do in the afternoon. You can go for a walk. You can again, turn on uh, YouTube and catch a lot of different people um, who feature different workouts you can also buy a workout to work on and just do something simple to keep your body moving well those are my top three tips for making your evening productive next phase is working on your night routine that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video bye